retired Brigadier General Robert Spaulding. He's currently a senior fellow at the Hudson Institute and specializes in U.S.-China affairs. He joins us now from Arlington, Virginia. General Spaulding, thanks for being with us. How surprising are these developments to you? And what does the U.S. think it's going to get out of this continued hardline strategy when it comes to China? Well, it's not surprising at all. I think um, what is going on is an acceleration right past decoupling straight into a Cold War. And I think it's been precipitated by China's almost three-decade effort to undermine democracy and, and uh, the global economy using its predatory uh, economic behavior. And, you know, it's, it's very much shown in the, uh, in the closing of the consulate in Houston surrounding, you know, efforts to conduct espionage uh, in, in the Houston area. How is China interpreting this move right now? They're vowing to retaliate, but what does this move say to them and how are they likely to respond? Well, I think uh, a year ago when they tore up the first trade deal negotiated by Liu He and Ambassador Lighthizer, they, des they determined the leadership of Be in Beijing determined that they were going to decouple from the United States and from the global economy, and they were willing to, to take whatever um, repercussions came from that. So what is the way out now? With rhetoric ramping up on both sides, how does the U.S. approach this now in a way that China doesn't lose face? Well, I mean, the way this ends is uh, sort of the, who you know re remains victorious in this Cold War. I think we're headed to a separation, a bipolar world, a, a world where you have free states and non-free states collaborating and cooperating, and there's going to be a, a reckoning to see which side actually emerges victorious. Is it going to be uh, democracy and free trade, or is it going to be the more authoritarian brand of governance favored by the Chinese Communist Party? All right, General Robert Spaulding, we really appreciate you being with us. Thanks for that analysis.